Okay, now we're going to make the rig for the pen, and this rig is just going to make the cap either go on the tip or the end of the pen. So it's just, let's see, let me get this front view. Um, I'm going to press Option G just to get this right in the middle. Uh, I want the origin of this pen to be kind of right about here. That'll just make it easier um, later because then, like, if you rotate it, it'll just kind of rotate from right where it would be a person would normally grab it. Um, that'll just make it easier to animate. So I'm going to add a armature single bone. Um, scale this bone down. I want to use B bones. So over in properties, if you just click on this little sticky stick figure guy, click on B bone, X ray. Then also in properties, if you click on object, which is this cube, um, for display, I want it just to be wire. And X rays already checked. Okay, so I'm just going to line this bone up with the pen. Uh, tab to go into edit mode of the bone. Control Option S. It's just going to make this bone skinnier. And let's see, let's make it. I kind of want it to be right about the size of the bone. Okay. So, and then um, the other thing I want to do is make sure this is all lined up. I want the origin of the armature to also be right about where you would grab the pen. So, what I'm going to do is hit Shift S, cursor to center, and then I'm going to right click on the armature, press space bar, and I'm just going to search for origin. And I'm going to hit set origin, which I guess is Shift Control Alt C, origin to geometry. No, I'm sorry. I want set origin. I want origin to 3D cursor. So now like if I rotate this armature in object mode, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to kind of rotate like as if you were drawing with it. Um, okay, so in edit mode, I'm just going to duplicate this and make another bone for the cap. And that looks about right. Let's look at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate that and make another bone. Actually, let's put this one on the top. This is the one that's just going to be the controller that will uh, make the cap go from one end to the other. Okay. So yeah, again, to make this skinnier or fatter, it's just control option S and then you can make the bone wider or whatever. I like to have my switcher bones uh, square shaped. Okay. So this bone that's on the pen, I'm going to name pen. And you can find that over here, an item on this little bar on the right hand side. Uh, if this isn't open, you can press N and this little side thingy will open and then just look for item. It might be closed kind of like that. So item, I'm also going to name this pen armature blue because the pen's blue. And then this particular bone is going to be called pen. This bone I'm going to rename to cap. And then this bone up here I'm going to name switch. OK, let's save this. All right, so next thing I want to do is um, I want to select the actual object and just grab the cap, and then I'm going to create a vertex group for the cap if I haven't done it already. Yeah, I don't think I did. So I'm going to add another vertex group. So just in edit mode with the vertices selected, go over here to the right in your properties, click on this triangle guy, um, find your vertex groups, add a vertex group, and I'm going to name that cap, and assign these as the cap. So now when I control it with this armature, this bone is called cap. So whatever vertices are named cap will get controlled by that bone. OK, so I'm going to add one more vertex group and call it pen. And then um, I'm in x-ray mode, by the way, so just press Z. And then I'm just going to assign 
that to pen. So now I have a pen, it's going to go to the pen bone, and cap is going to go to the cap bone. So now just with my object selected, hold shift, select the armature, and then just alt P or option P, or I'm sorry, it's control P, control P, armature to form. Now I think if I select the armature and hit control tab to go into pose mode, yeah, okay, there we go. So now, since I named the, the all the vertices in the cap the same name as the bone, I can now just move this cap with that bone. And since I named all those pen, I can move the pen with that. Um, an easy way to get all these back to their default spot is just select them all and hit Option G. Okay, uh, I'm going to save it again. Now, what we want to do is we want a way to make this cap go to either here or here, but we want it to be easy. So what I'm going to do is add a constraint to this bone. So with the cap bone selected, under properties, you see like there's this thing that says bone constraints. Click on that. We're going to add a constraint and it's going to be copy location. Okay, so I've got a copy location constraint over here on the right. Um, my target is going to be pen armature. So if you just start typing pen armature blue, and I, it looks like I spelled it wrong, pen armature blue. And then the one, the one whose location I want it to copy is the pen. So pen armature blue, pen. So now the bone goes straight to the end. So like this influence right here is what we're going to want to make a driver with. So uh, now we have to make a driver, um, which is kind of easy. You just right click on influence here and hit add driver. Uh, on the bottom left here, I'm going to change this node editor window into a graph editor. So now I have my graph editor. Um, this little thing down here on the bottom that says F curve editor, I just want to hit that and change it to drivers. And now since this bone is selected, you can see there's a driver. Um, now in this driver window, just press N and you can see your drivers over here. Um, so I want this where it says type, I want this to be some values. I don't, I don't really know how to explain the best way to explain the difference between all these, but what I'm going to use for this one is some values. And then um, this is the trans, this is the object, kind of like the object that dr makes the driver. So we're just going to do pen armature and we're going to pick the switch. So let's see. Pen armature blue is the object, and then the bone is switch. So its type is going to be X location, and its space, I want to switch to local space. So now, let's see. If we go up here and we grab this bone, the further to the right in X, the further to the right it moves, and the X axis is going to make uh, the cap go on there. So I kind of only want it to move to about this far. Actually, let's add a constraint. Um, I'm going to add a constraint to this switch just to keep it in the same spot so it doesn't get lost. So with this switch selected, I'm going to add another constraint. And it's just going to be limit location. And let me just click all these. And I'm going to change it from world space to local space. So I want this all to be just point. The minimum should be negative 0 0.05. I don't know what that means. Negative 0 0.05. Positive should be 0 0.05. Or actually, I can't even read that. Let's see. And then all the rest of these we want to be zero because we're only moving it in the x-axis. So actually, let's go a little more than that. Let's go negative 
for the minimum, which I guess is six inches for some reason. 0.5 for the positive. Oh, because I've got it set for imperial. So now, yeah, okay. So now like this bone will always just kind of stay in that area. So now I want to move this bone all the way to the right. I want it to make this cap go on there. So what I need to do now is under the generator, um, this is number one right now. I'm going to change that to like, let's try 10. And then hit update dependency right here on the top. Okay, that works. So now this bone, when it's in the middle, it, it's not doing anything. And when I turn it to the right, it's going to make the cap go on the end. Okay, but now see what happens when we rotate <coughs> the pen the cap doesn't go with. So we need another constraint on here and it's going to be copy rotation. So copy rotation and then same thing we just want the name of our armature pen armature blue here for the target and we want the bone to be pen. And that's just saying that this bone that has a constraint on it is going to copy the rotation of the pen. So now we can just right click on this purple driver and hit copy driver and then we can paste the driver to copy rotation. And then you just kind of want to wait for it to show up over here. Um, update dependencies. You got to kind of man update it manually. So it's just that. So now when I move this to the right let me okay now I move the switch to the right now when I rotate my pen the cap goes along with it let me zoom this in a little more see so now let's see if you put this in the middle now the pen now you can like move this pen around and whenever you want the cap to go on just move this bone over okay so now we just need to do one and it kind of doesn't, if you hit option G, it doesn't really snap right. Okay, so now we need one to make it uh, go to the other end. So we're just going to add another constraint, another copy location constraint. And same thing, pen, armature blue, and then the bone will be pen. So the target again is pen armature blue, the bone is pen. Um, I'm just going to copy the same driver and paste that driver onto the influence of this one. <coughs> um, the only thing is when you do that we're going to change this to be from 10. We're going to change it from 10 to negative 10. So that's just telling it when I move this bone to the left to negative 10 to do the other driver. So, oh yeah, and the, the way to make it go to the other end is just head tail. So see like right here where it says head tail, if I just turn this all the way up, it's gonna make it go to the other end of the bone. Okay, so now we need another uh, copy rotation constraint on this pen. So I'm just with the, or I'm sorry, on the cap. So with the cap selected, again, under properties, under bone constraints, I'm just going to add another copy rotation. Um, I'm going to use the pen armature, again, pen armature blue, and the bone I want, it, of which I want its rotation to get copied is pen. Um, I can just copy <coughs> and paste this driver down here so they'll both get driven by the same thing. Um, so, so let me name these right now. So let's see. I'm going to call this one cap tip uh, location. And I'm going to call this one cap tip rotation. Um, I'm just going to call this other one cap end location and this one cap end 
uh, rotation. Just so I don't get confused over here when I'm when I'm trying to figure out the drivers. So the the way that this works is that when this bone moves, in this case, um, in this case when it moves right here, when it moves to negative ten, let's see. So the cap tip drivers, when it moves to negative 10, it's going to turn both of those on. OK, this one's wrong, actually. So I want that to be negative 10. So these top two, I want to be negative 10, which are the tip. And then the ones for the end, I want to be positive 10. And that's just telling it when this bone moves negative 10 to go one way and positive 10 to go the other way. Um, so the other problem we're having right now is that this cap is upside down. So um, the easiest way to fix that is just go to its copy rotation of the end and just hit invert. And that'll flip the pen around. So now you could go into object mode and you could edit the armature in object mode and the cap would stay on there. And that would be about the easiest way. Um, by the way, make sure you're grabbing the armature and not the pen, because the pen will kind of freak out if you grab that. Um, but the thing is with that, if you want to rotate it in in bone pose mode, the cap's going to get kind of weird. So what I'm going to do, just so I can edit it either way, I'm going to make a shape key that's going to just kind of flip this cap upside down when it goes to that end. Okay, so to make the shape key, you just have to select the mesh, um, which is the pen, and go over to its properties, click on the object data, and go to shape keys. Um, OK, so we need to make a shape key that just spins this cap around. Um, to get a shape key, just click on the mesh, go to its properties, object data, and shape keys. Um, push the plus sign. The first thing is the basis, and that's just the regular mesh. So push the plus sign again, and you'll get your first shape key. Uh, I'll name this shape key cap upside down. Okay, so now just we just need to take the value of the shape key and turn it all the way up. Um, go into edit mode of the pen. And I'm going to use this vertex group cap and hit select. And then that's just going to select all the vertices in the cap. So real easily I'm just going to R180. And that's going to spin the cap around 180 degrees. Um, so let's test it. Let's go to object mode. Um, over here in our shape key value, just down. That's one way. And that's the other way. All right, let's see what it looks like. It's going to be a little off. I can already tell. So what we need to do is, um, let's see. Let's get these bones back to their default space. Let's just kind of, we have to try to center this reversed cap with this bone. Um, let's see, what does it look like from the top? Okay. Um, let's try that one more time. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we just need to copy and paste the driver to tell it when this cap is on that end do the shape key that makes it upside down when it's on that end don't do the shape key and that's really easy since we already made the driver so I'm just gonna click on the cap for the bone and go to bone constraints and find the driver I'm just gonna copy this driver uh, click on the cap mesh go to its object data go to the shape key and right here on value, I'm just going to right click and say paste driver. So now, when this bone moves this way, the shape key uh, is enabled and it flips it upside down. And when this bone is in that way, it 
it doesn't enable and it's it's the right way so um, actually that looks like it's not really quite lined up so um, let me to fix that let me go to the basis and yeah it looks like it could move a little bit along the x-axis so I'm just gonna grab X and I'm just gonna move it over a little bit um, let's see if it let's go in and yeah it's still kinda not really lined up correctly so what we want to do let's see is just move it over yeah a little bit on the x-axis too far too far the other way um Let's see, tab, which way did it need to go? Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, <clears throat> um, let's go to rendered view and see what it looks like. Actually, let's change this window down here to a 3D view. And then <clears throat> um, let me find the bone, the controller bone. I'm gonna zoom in on that, which is right here. Now I'm going to change this top window to be rendered view. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now when I move this, let's see. Now the cap is on one end. That looks pretty good. Let's see what it's going to look like with the cap on the other end. Okay, it's kind of, it's a little off, but... Um, you, you can kind of tweak the shape and make it fit. Actually, let's just do that real quick. So, it mo needs to move, let's see, to the left on the x-axis. So, I'm just going to go to its, my bad, let's see. <clears throat> Got to click on the pen. There it is, okay. Let's go to edit mode and just make sure we have the cap upside down selected. And I'm just going to move this over a tiny bit on the X axis. And what does that look like? Oh, uh, yeah, that looks good enough for me. Okay, let's go to rendered view again. And now it kind of looks like a pen with a cap stuck on the end. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice with the shape key is it does get kind of weird um, in between, but this rig is just kind of designed to just have it be one way, other way, or just right in the middle. Now, um, there is, it would be a lot easier to just use like a pose library to do this, but I, I just kind of wanted to do this way to show how to make the shape key drivers and the bone restraint drivers. Um, Okay, so that should be it. If anybody has any questions, just um, feel free to leave it in the comment, and I'll try to help as much as I can. All right, thanks.